Functional connectivity, defined as the correlated activity between two brain signals, is thought to be important for consciousness and is disrupted during an anesthetized state. Recent research revealed adults display different patterns of this connectivity that undergo structured shifts during stable anesthesia. However, whether similar patterns occur in anesthetized children or change during development is unknown. In this article published in Anesthesiology, the authors tested the hypothesis that functional connectivity patterns in children reflect anesthetic-induced changes in consciousness levels and, like adults, dynamic shifts in connectivity patterns occur during the stable phase of general anesthesia. A single-center prospective cross-sectional study design with 50 healthy children aged 8 to 16 years undergoing surgery with general anesthesia was used. Whole scalp wireless electroencephalographic data were collected from the preoperative period to the recovery of consciousness. Functional connectivity was measured using a weighted phase lag index or measurement of the phase synchronization of two signals. Results demonstrated that changes in functional connectivity were associated with anesthetic state transitions in children. Increased prefrontal frontal alpha and theta connectivity, as well as decreased parietal occipital alpha connectivity were observed. Contrary to the author's hypothesis, Connectivity patterns during the maintenance phase of general anesthesia were dominated by stable theta and alpha prefrontal frontal and alpha frontal parietal connectivity. This finding illustrates a reduced diversity of functional connectivity patterns in the developing brain during stable general anesthesia. Collectively, results suggest that functional connectivity patterns recorded during late childhood and early adolescence are more stable during general anesthesia compared to patterns observed in adults. These findings contribute to the growing body of knowledge of developmental neurobiology and are useful to advance monitoring strategies of the immature brain during the preoperative period.